Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve an interesting interview scenario that was asked recently in Wells Fargo. And this was the question that was asked him uh, in an in-person interview and the candidate has solved it right there. So he was given a laptop to solve. So let us see you know, what was the question and uh, we'll try to answer this, okay? And the question was, how can we use an all option in parameter? Okay, and uh, let us solve that. So if you see here, if I select, uh, I have a list of subcategory items here. And when I select all, it should show me the total value. But whereas when I select any specific value, it should show me sales for that specific you know, subcategory items. Now, this is uh, one of the very you know frequently implemented scenario also in real time. So I encourage all of you to practice this kind of scenarios so that when this type of questions will come in interview, you are able to solve, okay? So first thing, what do we need to do? We need to create a parameter. So for that, I'm creating a parameter and I'm naming it as select the subcategory, okay? And what should be the data type of this parameter it should be string now because we want to bring in uh, values from the subcategory i am going to take list of options you can either add or uh, manually here or you can write individually so i'm adding it directly from that particular uh, field add values from and i'm selecting the field called as subcategory okay now if you observe here these are our subcategory items, but I have added an extra option called as all to the list of values that we have, okay? Click on okay. Now I'm just displaying that parameter, okay? Now we have all. So now what is the common thought that we will get you now when we are trying to write a calculation is, like say I'm writing filter here. So we will write, let's say, if uh, subcategory is equal to our select subcategory, then give me sales, right? End it. So this is the standard uh, calculation that we think of solving whenever we get you know, this type of scenario, but what will happen in this case, okay? Because we have subcategory items from of all of this accessories, it is available in subcategory. So for all of these cases, your condition will match, right? Now, only in this case, the condition will fail because there is no such category called as all in subcategory. And in that case, it will not display any value. Let us see how it is working for us clicking on it and I'm just taking this and I'm dropping it on value. Now, because it is all, you see, it is not displaying any value or it is, you know, becoming blank. So I'm just taking accessories. Now, when I took or selected accessories from my subcategory item, so it is giving me sales for that particular subcategory. Okay, so if I select art, I'm getting values for that but that is not our intention, right? So we also want when the user will select all, it has to show him the default values or these total sales, right? So now let us customize our calculation here. So it here, what we need to do is we need to force to become this calculation true here, okay? So for that, what I'm doing is if, okay, if my select subcategory is equal to all, Okay, so I'm just specifying that. Uh, I'm writing it as all. Then I'm telling it is true for me. Okay, else, else if my select subcategory is equal to subcategory item, then also it is true. Okay, else it is false for me. And I'm ending it. Okay, now what will happen in this case if these two conditions are evaluating the values in this. So from the first statement, we are forcing that to become true. And from the second statement, we are bringing in only that value that will match with the subcategory item. And then, it, then only it will become true. Otherwise, it should be false. Now, what would be the data type of this field? Can you guess? 
okay if yes can you comment in the comment section click on apply now see it has created a filter here okay subcategory filter so i'll just to differentiate okay i'm writing it as this now you see it has created a boolean calibrated field okay i'm clicking on apply and okay so i'll remove it from the view but now what i'll do is i'll take my sales and drop it on label i got my total sales here right because understand now we have a parameter we have sales but we are not using this parameter anywhere so far because the calculation that we have created is still not in the view so it is giving us a total value now when i bring in this field it should give it should remain same because technically our selection in the subcategory parameter is all right so i'm taking this and i'm dropping it on filter shelf and i'm selecting only true from this now what happened it is giving us total sales whereas when i change it to accessories it is giving me that particular sales okay so in this way we can solve our problem statement that was given in interview okay so that's it you know i'm ending this video i hope you have learned something new if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day